Stampin' Friends. Today I wanted to show you a card made with the Beautiful Friendship Set. That's the Beautiful Friendship Set. It has uh, four cute little sentiments and several flowers that you could do in a variety of colors. I really liked the, I'm calling this rose a ranunculus because that's the way this one looks to me. Um, I really liked it in the in a calypso coral, so I'll have to do one of those to um, show for you all sometime soon. Um, this is the card that we'll be making. It says birthdays are the best days. And what I did with this was stamp it and then just add a little bit of ribbon because I thought it needed it. This black is heat embossed using uh, black embossing powder and Versamark to stamp and then cut out using the stitched um, square, whereas this is using the stitched rectangles. Then I just put these, these are from the iridescent sequins, and I just put those on, three of those randomly on the card to add a little interest. And I didn't worry where there's an overlap here. I, I just kind of made it be okay. Um, you could easily just make a um, mask out of um, typing paper, um, copy paper, but I kind of liked the kind of impressionistic look of it just being blurred together. Um, one thing I wanted to say is this Daffodil Delight, it's stamped off once, but um, this is actually supposed to go in the center of, the, of this flower, but I wanted to pretend that this was a yarrow flower. Um, so I thought it needed just a little more color. So I used it there as if it was a yarrow. If you look that up online, um, you can see why I would think it kind of looks like that. But anyway, I think that this is big enough for each of those. Okay, so to start, I start with Blushing Bride. And I do it close to the edge at the top. Let me make sure I got it right side up. Yes, I do. Um, I don't know, you've noticed, I'm sure, sometimes I accidentally stamp on this side, so I wanted to be sure that, you know, I notice that I'm stamping on the top of the stitched paper. Um, so I do it as close up to the edge as I can without going too far over. So there's that. And then you'll notice this is the distinctive set, so there is some variation in color, like some spots are lighter, some spots are darker, that kind of thing. So now I'm using the Seaside Spray, which is the nice light blue, which is the base color of our card. And I'm stamping it right down here. Let's see, how did I have that? I wanna do it the same way. I think it was like this. Like that. Ta-da. Okay, and then I add my um, Highland Heather which I think these kind of look like little um, lilac sprigs. I'm just kind of doing them at an angle so that I have one there and one there. And this one, it's the same thing, it's just going the opposite direction up here. Okay, then it's time for my green leaves. So what I'm trying to do with these is just get um, some filling space and well I guess I could do my yellow first. I wrote myself a note so I wouldn't forget when I was making more than one to stamp off each time before stamping. You know ink it up and then stamp it off on the paper. So I do that real quick. Stamp off on um, let's see there and this right here and then this one over here, just to try to make it even. That's all I'm really going for. Then the greens, there's um, a leaf grouping that has three and a leaf grouping that has two. So I just kind of want to consider where I'm putting things. I'm using Granny Apple Green. It is such a fresh looking, springy looking green, but I've noticed um, when it's used with darker colors, it actually kind of just looks like a nice darker color as well. So it's just kind of a pretty color all around. But I wanna put some here. 
And then I think I would like one more bunch of them up here. That. And then I, I almost think this is enough down here. So then the only thing left to do is use my Memento Black and put centers in each of my ranunculus, R-A-N-U-N-U-C-U-L, <laughs> ranunculus. It's, it's all U's except for the first A, ranunculus. Okay, so then after I did that, I'll, I let this dry a little longer than I have here, and then I just put Wink of Stella over the black. And that's a good way. I did not want to um, stamp this like, like I did the sentiment. You know, I stamped it in Versamark and used black embossing powder. I don't like to take that kind of chance. Of course, I use my, my embossing buddy with this um, to keep it from um, sticking and having splatters of black. But when something is like this and you've, you've already finished your work with it, I didn't want to take a chance of getting little black splatters all over, unless that's what you're going for, which could also be pretty. So that's why I chose to use the black memento and then go over it with the Wink of Stella. Anyway, thanks for watching.